Hey there, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Super Mario. So let's start with this nose. So it's basically a squashed circle. So we'll start at the top and we'll go around and we'll draw a big sort of oval shape. From here we're going to go to the right side and draw his eye. So let's start up here on the top, come around, and it's almost the same size as his nose, but it's vertical. So it's like, turn this way. On the lower right hand corner here, we're just going to draw the pupil. So it's basically a squashed um, uh, oval. So starting at the top, I'm going to come around and basically touch the outside line. From here, I'm going to draw a circle in the top left corner and then color in the rest black. So we've got a nice little highlight on that eye. And then around this, I'm going to draw sort of a wider ring. So up here, I'm going to come around and try to draw a ring that's evenly spaced out. Okay, we'll go to this side here on the right, and we'll draw the same thing. So let's start up here, come around, and draw that big oval. And again, I'm going to draw the black pupil first, so we'll see a portion of that behind that nose. Draw that circle for the highlight, and color that in black. And again, I'm going to draw another ring around that pupil, just like so. Let's go up to the top and draw his eyebrows. So just above each eye, we have a curve, this, that just sort of follows the contour of the eye, and another band that gets thicker as it gets into the middle and then basically tapers off on the ends. And we can go ahead and color those in black. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. So starting on the inside first, coming around to the outside, and I'll make it thicker in the middle and then taper it off as I get to the ends. Now, if you did what I just did there, and if you make any mistakes, because you're using a, a pen, you can go back and just kind of fix that up, just like that. Let's get into the mustache. So basically, it's a curve that goes behind that nose. So starting up on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve that kind of comes into the nose and it curls out on the right side here. Now, basically, he's got three sort of circles or rings that kind of go towards the center. So here in the middle of the nose, I'm just going to draw a dot. So from here, I'm going to start one, two, three. So three curves to get to the end. I'll do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three. Okay, now let's move down to the mouth. So here, just on the left side of that center, I'm going to draw a curve like this. Now take that point and go all the way to the top here. I'm going to draw some teeth. So I'm just going to draw a straight line across the top. And then from here, I'm going to draw a curve for the tongue. We can go ahead and color that in black. All right. Now let's get into the bottom part of the chin. So here, underneath the mouth, I'm just going to draw a curve that just sort of follows the form of that mouth, like that. And from here, I'm going to go up towards the cheek. So basically, inside of the the mustache it comes in like that. And I'll go up to this side here, but it stops a little bit shorter than this side because of the ear. So I'm just going to draw a point here for reference and come out. And connect to that point. Now from here he's got a big oval ear so I'm going to start here at the bottom, come out and then back down. And then we'll just do a little bit of ear detail with a curve and then we'll kind of flare it out again on that side. Let's go on this side here. Now I'm going to draw this side of the face but you have to imagine that this cheek comes in and goes straight up this way. So I'll start in a little bit and I'll just curve up towards that eyebrow. All right. Now from here, I'm going to draw a curve all the way down to this side for the brim of his hat. So let's start on the outside here, go through the eyebrows, and right about here, I'm going to curl it up. All right, go back to this side, and I'm going to round out that tip, and basically follow the same line all the way around, and then connect to the ear. So I'm just going past that, and I'm just going right into the ear there. Over here, where the, the brim meets the hat, I'm just going to do a curve out, I'll go back in, now curve down, and then I'll just finish that off towards the ear, just for the uh, sideburns. This side, I'm going to draw a line like that, just for the other side. This is drawn ear, so here I'm just going to draw a shape like this. So he's basically got an ear on the back side of his head. And then where the ear meets the face, I'm going to draw the big hat. So right about here is where the top point will be, so I'm just going to leave my finger there. Starting on this side, I'm just going to come around and try to meet up with where my thumb is, like that. 
Now from here, I'm going to come down this way and then tuck it back in. So let's go ahead and come down with this and then curl back in towards the ear. All right. Now in the middle here, he's got like a his uh, insignia. So I'm going to draw sort of a half circle tucked in behind that brim. That he's got a big M in the center. So I'm going to draw a dot right about there in the middle. So I got a line this way and then the opposite way. So it looks like a V. And from here, I'm going to go outwards to the edges. And then if I want, I can go in and just thicken that up like that. For, and for Mario. Let's get into his body. So we're going to draw the straps of his suspenders first. So starting on the right side of his chin, I'm going to come down with a curve like so. I'm going to curl the bottom out. All right? And I'm going to curl that back under the chin. And inside the bottom here, I'm just going to draw a circle for the buttons. Let's go on the outside about here. I'm going to draw a curve down. Same sort of thing, round at the bottom, and then curve that back under that chin. And then I'll draw a circle right here for the buttons. Along the top here, I'm just gonna curve off the top of his, of his overalls. And then I'm, he's got a big round body, so starting up here, I'm just gonna come down. Roughly his body's about the same size as his head, so I'll stop right about there. On this side, I'm gonna come around to the back side of his, his pants. Right? And now if I imagine this line coming around, so his body is basically round, I'm going to put a dot right there in the center. This is where the split between his legs are. So I'm going to come down in an angle, one straight line. I'll go on this side here, and I'll draw a line in that same angle. And then from here, I'm going to do the same thing, so coming down. So this leg is thicker because this leg is tucked in behind. And then from here, I'm just going to draw a little detail, a straight line like this. Let's get into the shoes. So here, I'm going to draw, I'm just going to round up the ends of his pant and then I'm going to connect those two points with a curve. Here I'm going to come straight down and here I'm just going to round up the front of his foot. Now I'm going to draw a curve up for his heel, a very short curve, and then a long one for the front of his foot. And I'm just going to make that sole twice as thick, kind of like that. Let's go on this side. So again, I'm going to round up the front. And because his leg is behind this leg here, you won't see the other side. So I'm just going to curve this in, kind of like so. Here, I'm going to curve down, like I did over here. I'm going to draw the foot, and then you'll see a little bit of the heel curve there. Let's make that double thick. Oh, that was a little bit thicker than I wanted to, but that's okay. Let's go up here and draw the arms. So here, right where the suspenders hits the face, I'm going to draw a curve out like this. So this is his arm. Draw a line right here for the other side of his arm. And then here, I'm going to draw a curve just to, it goes past the arm, the lines of the arms. I'll curl them around on either end. And then just inside, I'm just going to draw a curve like that, leaving a gap on either side. Let's draw the thumb. So I'm just going to draw a curve like so. And then I'm just going to cross it like a T on the end. I'll go in for an overlap and draw a curl around that point. And I'm going to draw four of these, one, two, three, and they're equally sized. And then this last one, I'm just gonna go in and join with that glove. And on the back of his gloves, I'm just gonna draw two little lines like that. Let's go on this side here. From this part where the shoulder is, I'm gonna curve a line out like so. So I just wanna make sure that I sort of have the same length of arm on both sides. Again, here I'm just gonna cross that or intersect that with a longer curve. Round up the ends, then again, draw a little line like that, like I did over here. Now here, I'm just going to tuck the hand in behind his body. So I'm going to do a curve for his pinky. I'll do an overlap. Again, I'll do another overlap. And then one last one, and that kind of vanishes behind his body. Again, two little dashes for the backs of his hand. And I think that's it. There he is. There's Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give it a like, and we'll see you again soon.